I'm not gonna be doing a story time. I probably lost fucking three jobs in one year. I said I broke my tibia by doing a side flip, and I was like, fuck. So what am I gonna do now? I stopped working two months. Um, then I get a text the next day. She was up to about some about she fired me on the phone. Marcel was almost fired me the first fucking week. Listen. Okay guys, I am back. It's the next fucking day. Make sure like and subscribe. Make sure you 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 subscribe. Don't forget to use my, you don't forget to use the G Fuel code Shock to get 10% of your order. From G Fuel, it's not my G Fuel code, but it's a G Fuel code that you can use that I found out. I, I fucking bought a creator set. Um, I, w I was gonna claim it as mine because I didn't think anyone knew what, what sh whose G Fuel code that was, but one of, my, one, of my, one of my fans told me that it wasn't my thing, so I'm just gonna go with them and not like, not do it, but I'll say. Well, today I'm gonna be explaining how I lost fucking three jobs in one year. I'm gonna be doing that, um, and then I'm gonna be um, doing a McDonald's moving at, move at the same time. But uh, I'm gonna be explaining how I lost three jobs in one year. Basically, how I lost three jobs in one year is um, basically I fucking worked out. I, I might eat as the same time I'm doing this, to be honest. But um, today we went to McDonald's, we got fucking fries and shit. Got a fucking Coca Cola and shit, so. I'm gonna fucking be doing more story time to my channel and shit because I feel like I should like if you guys like the fucking mode it's a fresh cut. I had a fucking mode a couple days ago. One year one year I fucking quit. Then I fucking quit because I broke my ankle. So basically my first job I fucking worked out was Star Market and um in Marshfield. I fucking worked there for like a year. And then um then I thought I was fucking working there and shit. I, I loved it. Well, I didn't like it, but I was working there for a fucking year. Pushing carriages and fucking bagging groceries and shit. That was back in 2018. It wasn't one year, it's a couple years. Um, I, it was a couple years, like two or three years, but I'm just gonna say it's two years. But, um, yeah, basically I was working in fucking Star Market in Marshall, like, until like that. I was working, like, bagging groceries. I was fucking, um, pushing carriages and shit. I didn't really like it. So then, um, basically I was working there, working my ass off one day, I was fucking raining and shit, and I fucking was freezing cold, fucking pushing carriages out there for like five hours. I, I used to be the one person that fucking went outside and pushed carriages for hours and shit, so basically I did that shit, and then, um, basically, I fucking, um, then, oh, oh the summertime of 2019, um, it's 2021, in the summertime of 2019, I fucking did a side, I fucking was doing a flip and shit, um, the, I, I fucking had, um, uh, uh, crack tibia, which I fucking um, hit my scoot when I did the fucking grip for scooter challenge, which that video is no longer fucking available on my on on YouTube because um, my channel at one point AK got terminated. Shit, I had a lot of fucking bigger videos on my channel. I'm gonna try to grind up to one point AK again. Basically, how I lost three twenty years. I fucking how I lost this one is I fucking was flipping outside and shit like that. I did a fucking side flip. Um, into my neighbor's yard, and I fucking like it was. I did. You gotta put your foot on something to do with the side flip. So I fucking did it, and I landed wrong. And I like, like I said, I already, I already had a fucking cracked tibia that fucking turned into a broken tibia. So I fucking, um, I fucking did a side flip. That fucking, that fucking day, I cracked my tibia. It was broken and shit. If I, if I can find the picture, I'll probably try putting it on the screen of. Um, I'll probably put it on the screen of what my tibia looked like, but it'll be right here on the screen if I can fucking find it. Say I broke my tibia by doing a side flip because I already fucking kind of broke it. I already fucking cracked it from when I did a bear for scooter channel. So if you enjoy the story time, make sure you like, subscribe, and give it all my training chance to case one. Don't forget to use my fucking G for code. Well, not my G for code. Don't forget to use their G for code. So I can get to, to get 10% of the order. Google. But um, I did a fucking side flip. I um I broke my tibia. I went to the hospital. They said I once I got there, they did my X-rays and shit, and they said and, and then they, when they got back to me, they said Shane, your tibia is bro your tib you broke your tibia. There's a little crack in it. I was like fuck. So what am I gonna do now? So basically, all I was doing is I was stuck in my fucking room all all the time. I couldn't go out. If I had to go out, I had to use my crutches. I had to go to school like that. It was fucking horrible. Graduating off. This was this was two years ago. Um, basically, I broke my tibia and shit, and then um, basically, um, I, I I stopped working for like two months. I was I was supposed to be supposed to start working for fucking 
um, five or six weeks until my bone actually healed a little bit better. But then I went to Disney and shit, and I was running on it without a boot and everything, so that was kind of fucking bad. I went to Disney in, in September 2019, and um, I wasn't wearing a boot or anything. It was kind of fucking stupid to me. Um, this was from 16 to 18. Um, I wore a fucking boot, and um, basically I was supposed to start working when um, my boot came off, but it still hurt a little bit, and I was trying to be extra careful on it, so I didn't work for like... So I waited four more weeks and stuff like that, and then my manager, my human resource manager, Jen, she um, fucking said, I'm just gonna use her name. So my human resource manager, Jen, um, based on my guess the last name, she asked if I was coming back. At that moment, I was getting fucking tired of my job. I should've stuck with it, because that was the only job I liked. But um, basically, um, basically, I broke my tibia and I couldn't continue, and stuff like that. I, I, I didn't want to continue because I was nervous about what was going to happen, so um, I fucking I fucking said something like um, I'm not gonna come back because I want to look for another job. So then she took me, she unemployed she took me off of unemployment or she unemployed me and she took my um, account and everything off there so like that. And um, basically um, then the second job I had so I never worked there after that. And then the second job I had was fucking Marcelo, as you guys know this. But it was um. 20, not, it was 2020 I was working there. I was working there from like 20, like September 2020 to fucking um, December. I fucking worked there, I was making subs and shit. I was fucking um, making subs, I was fucking cleaning dishes, answering phone calls, like doing online orders on the register. And then I'll, I was fucking work. I worked there for fucking like four months, four or five months. Like each job was going lower. I fucking worked there for four or five months. And then basically what happened was, um, I took I took a two month break. I think I think something happened. I forget what it was. What did I take a two month break from? I forget what I took a two month break for. Oh, I think I had to do some shit. I think I had to do some shit. So I took a two month break. Or they they didn't want they um they just didn't have me come in. No, they fucking were professional. They didn't have me come in. They didn't have any hours for me for a month. No, two months. They didn't have any hours for me for two months because the place was so fucking busy. So they didn't put me on the schedule for two months. So then I kept calling in and asking when I can start working again because I need to make money. So I kept fucking do that calling in to see when I could make money. Because they fucking took me off the schedule for two months. My fucking um, minutes are fucking going down. So I only have four minutes to record and then delete some shit. Probably the one chip challenge something to delete, but... I couldn't, I, I didn't work for two months because they didn't have an opening for me. I worked there for, for, um, for one, two months and then they didn't have me work for two months and then I worked for two months after that. They didn't have me work so I got pissed and stuff like that so then I finally called them and he said, hey Shane, you want to come back? And I said yes. I started working again. I was like, I was working in the back room like making pizzas and shit. I'm making pizza boxes. I fucking took some stuff out, answered the phones, washed the dishes and everything like that. Make sure they were clean. And um, basically there was this one time when my fucking mom yelled at me. So my mom yelled at me and shit and my work, my work, my work ethics and performance wasn't that good. Cause I was fucking upset that day. I was fucking upset that she yelled at me and everything like that that day. I was working my fucking ass off and then I didn't have anything to do because I, I, I looked at the list and I was like, what can I do? Because like, there was no customers ringing the phone, the dishes were clean, and there was no subs to be made. So I was kind of standing there like wondering what to do. My boss tells me and says, Shane, if you're not going to work, if you're not going to work and put in effort, you're going to go home. So then I was, that, that made me upset and stuff. So when I get upset, I fucking don't work as hard. So then what fucking happened earlier, on top of what he said to me, that made me fucking upset. So I didn't work that hard at all after that. So then I fucking went home and then I was fucking upset at what happened. I told my adjustment counselor at school what happened. And I remember that. Like I told my adjustment counselor what happened and everything and why I was upset. And she basically told me what to say to my, um, my manager, not the owner, but the manager. She told me to say to my manager, um, I, I had a text him like that. If I can find it, I'll send it to you. Uh, well, I'll put it on the screen, something like that. If I can find it, it's probably in my phone still. Um, but yeah, I told her that, that text, something like that. Like, um, I told her that I don't wanna, that I'm stressed out, I need to take a day off and stuff like that, which was stupid to me. And then she talked to my the owner of um, Marcellos and stuff. And then basically what happened was, um, then I get a text the next day, saying she she was unprofessional about she fired me off on the phone so that she fired me on the phone instead of having me come in and work one more day and then telling it to me in person 
she fired me on the fucking phone and just let me go. She, she, that, Marcel was almost fired me the first fucking week because I wasn't getting the hang of it. Um, as as a per, as my personality, it takes me a little longer to learn things and get used to it. So even though I'm past the learning shit, it takes me a little longer than most people because I have stress and anxiety and um, I have Tourette's and shit like that. If you want to know, I'm sick of myself. I have Tourette's. Basically, uh, it takes me a little longer to learn things and shit because it was hard for me to do it. Basically, I'm, I'm eating my food when the recording goes off and stuff. But it takes me longer to learn shit. So basically, she almost let me go the first week. She almost fucking fried me the first week of working there and shit, and I was pissed. But um, yeah, basically that's what happened. So um, but then she texted me on the phone. She said, if this job stresses you out, it's not gonna work out for you. Sorry. If there's any other jobs out you want us to, to recommend to you, that's perfectly fine. So then I fucking stopped working there. Um, after five months of working there, so I ended I ended up working there like February 2020, and then. Um, this June I started doing landscaping with all my landscaping and shit. I'm gonna tell you this right. I'm gonna tell you what happened right after with that job. I'm still gonna fucking start working there again, Paul Pena. But I, I I took a long ass break. I haven't been working there for like two or three months because of something that happened. So I can't believe that happened. Like seriously, I can't believe that happened. Like I don't know why it happened, but it just did. Um, basically, I, I'm gonna start when Paul Pena starts up again. That's when I'm gonna be fucking doing that. So like, subscribe, and engage. So I'll make sure I'm changing. Don't forget to drop a like and use my use the G Flow code truck for ten percent off your order. You know, yeah, guys, I'm gonna eat my McDonald's and shit, and then I'll get right back to you when I delete some shit. So um, yeah, basically I'll see you guys in a little bit. Please. Okay, guys, basically I'm fucking back. I mean, I, I had to delete a fucking bunch of shit off my phone so I could fucking record longer. I um, might fucking delete like fifty something dollars worth. I don't know. I have a fucking scratch ticket on the ground. Joe, like, I got a random fucking scratch ticket. I fucking um, I'm fucking bullshit pissed. But um, now right now I'm gonna be telling you guys why how I fucking lost the third job and stuff like that. Like I'm gonna be explaining to you guys how I lost it. Um, well I'm gonna continue when fall cleanup starts back up. But um, basically the the next company that I worked at was Lens Landscaping, which I'm still gonna continue to work there and shit. As you can see, I fucking finished my McDonald's and shit. I finished my Big Mac. My fries, I finished my fries, my Big Mac, and I'm still finishing my drink. So, my fries, my fries, my Big Mac, and my drink, I still haven't shit, so let's try and everything. Um, yeah, Lionel Zelensky, and we got a big giant bag of chocolate balls, which I'm fucking happy about. My dad finally got them for me, but, um, I got my fucking license this month on the 25th. My, I'm gonna I'm practice next week. When, when, I have, when I get my fucking license, guys, my fucking content's going to the next level. I have my road test tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow. I fucking have my road test this week and everything. So, basically, my road test, I'm gonna basically, well, I have my road test next week, next weekend. Not this upcoming weekend, but the weekend after that. That's when my road test is, because that's September 25th and shit. So, I'm gonna be practicing next week, a couple days. To practice my for my road test and everything like that, and then I'm gonna be fucking getting my license. When I get my license, I have a fucking good ass video idea. When I get my fucking license, the first thing we're gonna do is gonna be going to the skate park early in the morning. Pro well, I don't know. I'm probably gonna be driving up to the skate park at like 3 a.m. or some shit to see what it's like. I don't know. I'm probably gonna bring a friend with me, and then um, I have I have a video idea that I'm gonna be doing. Um, me and one of my friends, like me, whether it's Will or something like that. Or someone else. So basically, I'm gonna be hanging out with them. My dad usually fucking goes out at my. My dad usually go, fucking goes out at night and shit like that. And I don't know what the fuck he does. So basically, what I'm gonna be doing is I don't know what I don't know what the fuck he does when he goes out and everything like that. Like he fucking goes out and does shit and comes home like completely drunk or he comes home with a girl or some shit. So uh, what I'm gonna fucking be doing is when he when he uh, gets home. Well, well, basically when he goes out when I have my license, I'm gonna drive and I'm gonna follow him until he gets home. So, um, spying on my dad, spy, I'm gonna say like spying on my dad for 24 hours, or spying on my dad and stuff like that for 24 hours, but I'm not gonna be spying on him for 24 hours. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, be, go, I'm gonna be going um to where he, the place he goes, like if he goes to the bar or some shit, I'm gonna follow him to the bar. And if he goes somewhere else after that, I'm gonna follow him to there and everything like that. Like I'm, I'm gonna try to stay behind him because I won't know where I don't, I won't know where he fucking goes if if anything happens. Like I don't know where the fuck he'll go. Like I know he goes to the fucking bar and shit and everything. Like I know he goes to the bar and I know he goes um 
somewhere else like he goes out with his girlfriend or something like that so basically i'm gonna see what happens i'm gonna see what he fucking does within that night span that i go and sneak out and like i see what he does when i'm my license my dad sometimes sneaks out and he does shit that um he does like bad shit and like not bad shit like i can get him killed or arrested but like shit that doesn't make me happy so he comes home with a girl he comes home very fucking drunk and i don't i don't like that so i'm gonna go when i get my license i'm gonna go spy on him for the night and see what he's doing so stay tuned for that fucking video when i got my license but um yeah basically basically another thing that's gonna fucking happen is um basically what i'm gonna do is um so basically i'm gonna explain what happened to land to lands landscaping and shit and why i don't fucking work there currently at the moment but i'm gonna start working there again so stay tuned for that guys and basically what happened was there was this fucking guy named dan and they two guys named dan and aiden they were in the same crew as me i used to fucking work with them in the crew and shit like that i love the fucking landscaping job i'm gonna i'm gonna go back into, into a different crew stuff like that like i'm gonna go back into a different crew this time and everything and um Basically, I'm gonna see how I like it then. Doing the same fucking shit, but I'm gonna be with different people. So they're gonna fucking treat me better. So I'm um, fucking Dan, um, Dan and Aiden, they used to fucking judge me every single day. They used to look disgusting. Like, they used to make fun of me for fucking sweating. They used to fucking make fun of my Tourette's and saying I'm faking. And they, they used to fucking say, would a person with Tourette's fucking be impulsive as, be impulsive as you are? Dan the asshole, he fucking accused me of smashing his phone because, um, I should have asked first, but I went in this cooler to look for a water because I was fucking thirsty and I didn't have one. I was dehydrated. I fucking went in this cooler to look for water and shit. And then he fucking, and then he fucking got pissed at me, started swearing at me and stuff. He was like, don't be a sneaky asshole, and he called me a wise ass one time because I was just sticking up for my rights and defending myself. So then, basically, I'm his, I'm gonna tell you what happened, so basically his phone smashed one time because he fucking was an irresponsible piece of shit, he knows he did it, he left it on the fucking trunk of his car, um, he fucking drove off after changing and stuff to go home, he fucking, dro he fucking dropped his phone. Well, he left his phone in the trunk, he drove off with it on the trunk. I literally saw it with my own two eyes. He fucking, it fucking fell off the trunk of his car into the street. I try to run over and grab it, and fucking, t before I can get there, t fucking three cars run over it. And the screen was completely fucking smashed and shattered and glitchy. So then I fucking picked it up. Instead of being an asshole, and like being, uh, being an asshole, I, and just leaving it there, um, so if he looked for a phone, he wouldn't have one at all. I get, I picked it up for him, brought him home, and told my mom and shit like that, and called my fucking boss and stuff and told him what happened. And um, instead of being an asshole, I picked it up for him, so we had, so we can get the instead of ha him having no phone at all and having to buy a whole other fucking iPhone 12, or no, instead of having to buy another fucking iPhone 11 Pro Max, he would have to. He could go get the screen fixed and shit, which he did. So I was being fucking nice about that because he was an irresponsible piece of shit and left the fucking phone on the trunk of his car and drove off with it and fucking threw a car turn over it. And then I picked it up and then um he fucking, and then one fucking day, the fucking day I went through his core and shit, I had enough of it. He went like, so um, do you trust me if you do, do you trust me if you go through my cool people's floors and shit? Did you, did your, did you smash my fucking phone on the ground because you were mad? And I was like, bro, your fucking phone literally fell off the trunk of your car because you're an irresponsible piece of shit. And just left it on the fucking trunk and drove off with it before taking it off. And the and fucking three cars ran over. I saw it with my own eyes and he knows, he knows that happened. He was just being an asshole because he was fucking pissed. I know I should have asked him if I can go and get a water from his cooler, but he was fucking pissed. So he has to treat me like shit and make me pissed. So then I fucking texted. I fucking texted one person and said, and basically said, I'm fucking sick of Dan, I would've knocked him the fuck out. If I, I would've knocked him the fuck out if I dealt with him any longer and shit. And he was like harassing me and he was like making fun of my Tourette's and everything like that. And he, and he judged my personal hygiene, which it, it was better than theirs. And he judged my worth, worth ethics and everything like that. So basically, I fucking texted my boss saying, um, I don't think I can do this anymore. But then, um, then he said, okay, that's all right. So then basically my mom texted him and told, um, told him everything that happened, like everything that fucking Dan and Aiden did. And then um, Steve, our boss, is going to talk to him, stuff like that. He already talked to them and shit and like said that's not acceptable in my company, there's no bullying allowed. And you can't make fun of someone's trust and disability and everything like that. So I almost fucking knocked him the fuck out one of those days, I would have done it. 
or, or I'll fucking just knock the fuck out, you already know. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe. Make sure that's how I lost that job and everything like that. Like, well, I, I'm, I'm gonna start working when fall cleanup happens again, and then next year I'm gonna start working again. Hopefully, well, Aiden's gonna be in the union, and hopefully Dan's not gonna be working there anymore. Hopefully Dan got his ass fired already, because he's been causing so much fuck. He made the fucking... He made my fucking experience working for that company complete hell. He made my fucking experience complete hell. Damn dead, because he's an old fucking asshole who is so upset inside he has to target fucking 18 year olds and make fun of kids with Tourette's. That's what he has to do. I hope he feels better about himself. Yeah, it's been your boy Shane Healer. Get my lessons month, so I'm gonna be doing a video on that too. I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. It's been your boy Shane Healer back here with another video. I'll see you guys in the next fucking video, guys. Peace out.